we've got a new movie trailer to review. It's a movie about Jan Ziska, uh, who's a bohemian national hero or Czech national hero. This has got to be an awesome movie, haven't it? I mean, this this is someone who needs to have had movies made about him. He is an absolute legend. And um, the movie is set in the medieval period and is called medieval okay really really bad title aside let's have a look at this trailer and see does it look any good <laughs> um, okay straight off the bat I can see that this medieval film called medieval uh, uses the typical medieval movie trope of being kind of bluish gray in hue the riveted bars of iron on his left sleeve uh, strange when Jan Ziska's around essentially at the end of the 14th century beginning of the 15th century so I'm hoping to see armor of the kind of you know same period as uh, the Battle of Agincourt things like that so we're talking about the 1410s Battle of Grunwald he was at uh, and the, up to the 1420s also artillery was starting to be a thing at this time as well okay random fighting scene between him as an individual against some other people that mace oof that mace looks bad that mace looks like it's made of plastic but makes a very metallic sound when it comes off that rock Nice church up on a hill, beautiful. Okay, what's what's this like pauldron, spalder thing he's wearing on his left shoulder? So we know he's got kind of iron splints on his forearm, van braces, uh, van braces, um, and a, a lone standalone shoulder guard. A little bit weird, bit weird choice of armor for this period, but anyway. More stabbing people. He seems to be wearing some type of brigandine now. Yeah, I guess that's kind of vaguely plausible for this period. Um, that's fine. Okay, that's good body armor. Whoa, okay, so Michael Caine seems to be wearing a breastplate from 100 years later. He seems to be wearing a German 16th century breastplate. Um, let's turn a blind eye to that one. So just talk a little bit more about his brigandine that he's wearing here. Uh, it's, it's a bit too late in design. Uh, so this is more of the type of brigandine we'd see at the end of the 15th century and into the 16th century. Uh, 100 years too late, basically. And he's wearing these leather braces or leather van braces um, on his forearms uh, why there's nothing up on his, on his upper arms or no hand protection uh, I don't know but there we well I do know it's because it's movie armor isn't it does he not have a helmet so other thing I've noticed for this period as well so we're presumably looking at the beginning of the 1400s there should be quite a lot of shields around uh, by all different types of soldiers but shields should be prominent in scene and I don't think I've seen any yet. Whoa, whoa, oh gosh, that looks bad. They look a bit like Urukai from a distance, don't they? So they're wearing salets of a type which really don't come around until maybe the 1430s at the absolute earliest with some sort of gorget or bev, I can't tell which it is, and fairly large pauldrons. This is a very wrong silhouette for this period, okay? So for, um, I presume this is set in the very beginning of the 1400s. This is not the right look at all. And why is everyone wearing black? Presumably, I'm guessing here, they're the bad guys, because they're wearing black. Um, quite expensive color to make in the medieval period, black, uh, quite expensive dyes. It was worn, uh, fencing masters wore black, um, people wore black in mourning, I think. Uh, it was certainly quite an expensive uh, color, but all of these soldiers seem to be wearing black and everything's in this gray blue tinge. Not really a fan of what this is looking like so far, folks. Lots more random violence. Oh, it's a person killing people. Oh, it's really gritty and real. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Well, he's got a head wound. Should have worn a helmet. That was a very nicely shot bridge, I have to say. Um, nice bit of CGI. Minor detail, but I do like that um, parchment with all of the seals hanging along the bottom of the edge that uh, Michael Caine is brandishing there. Just don't look at that awful breastplate. But apart from the breastplate, the document looks nice with all the signatures on it. Very cool. Okay, crossbowmen, that's a pretty good, the crossbowmen would have been pretty prominent at this time. The crossbows look okay, the bows on them look uh, too thin, way too thin. These are obviously very low draw weight uh, movie crossbows, um, so they're nowhere near thick enough for uh, wooden bows on a crossbow and they don't look right for steel bows, they just don't really look right. They look a bit puny, but they kind of don't look terrible either. The main thing to notice here 
um, for these soldiers are the helmets and they are all wearing very clearly identical probably made in resin or plastic uh, and sprayed silver uh, a type of essentially late mid to late 15th century salad um, with a reinforcing brow plate on there which is like really really wrong for this period again it's decades decades later um, so a shame I can see those them as some kettle hats in there which are kind of fine for this period shame about that these kind of I have to say open face salads do appear absolutely uh, at the end of the 14th century 1390s 1400s so overall in silhouette not that bad it's just the detail I think I can see reinforced brow plates on there which really I shouldn't come uh, come along until later in the 15th century. A lot of people riding and running around with these shoulder pauldrons and not an awful lot else, um, you know, no uh, like coat of plates or breastplates. Not a big fan of it. I know it's popular in movies because they it's an easy piece and cheap piece of equipment they can stick on people to make them look a bit more uh, fearsome. But nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do they have, Jan? First of all, he's not properly armoured. He's just wearing a brigandine. He's got no helmet, no gauntlets, no real arm armour. Why isn't he better armoured, firstly? Secondly, what is he wielding? So he's wielding a type of flanged mace, which doesn't come around really until the end of the 15th century. And what on earth is that in his left hand? It looks like it's got a bastard sword hilt with some kind of blade breaker or blade catcher blade on it with teeth. Oh gosh, cringe. And it fades out with the word medieval. <laughs> oh, what a terrible title. Um, I, I don't like to prejudge things before they've been released and before I've seen more of them. But my gosh, for a teaser, for a teaser trailer, that really sucks. It looks like the choreography sucks. It looks like the armor sucks. The, the typical blue-gray hue on everything, the colors. I think this movie is going to suck really badly. Anyway, what do you think? Um, maybe I'm being hugely over-cynical. Are you excited to see finally a movie about Z Jan Ziska? Um, certainly a historical person who deserves multiple movies made about him, but maybe better ones than this one looks like. What do you think? Post below. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. Check out the trailer for yourself. Post your views below. I'm very interested to know. If there's, uh, do you think there's anything positive? I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. Cheers for watching, folks.